I'm out here at uh, Sycamore Canyon of Wilderness in Riverside, California. It just uh, was after the storm and this is one of the, excuse me, I'm out of breath climbing right now. <clears throat> this is one of the few places that stay open after the rains and the conditions are perfect. It doesn't get muddy. Unlike Orange County where it gets pretty much unrideable. This place is perfect. All right, I just finished the climb. I'm not sure what the name of the trail is, but I'm gonna put it right here. Let's do this. How are you? Good, yeah. Good. Try to find my way around here. Oh, 
fuck, this looks like a hype trip. Oh my god, I don't think I can do this. I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm going. It's windy as shit. Shit, there's a stream right here. I think I remember this from last time. Oh, this is gonna be a slog climbing back up. All right, it's not an adventure if you're not lost. It sucks. All right, All right mission success. Didn't get wet. There's other mountain bike tires, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, CBF baby. What the fuck was that? Oh yeah. Oh. oh, they should cover that post. This one's gonna core sampled. Well, according to Strava, I have a big ass climb ahead to get back on track. I think I'm heading towards the southern side of Sycamore Canyon now. And I'll see you guys at the top of the climb. All right, I just made it to the top of a uh, power line it was in bad of a climb but there's two steep parts pretty doable though if you've been watching my videos you've been hearing uh you've been hearing like uh, some rubbing noise on compression of the rear suspension pretty sure it's my bag hitting the wheel 
on compression because of the 29er size rim but I think it's my body position it needs to be slightly adjusted to the geometry of the frame so I feel like I need to stop sticking my ass too far down and just mostly bending my knees rather than moving my whole core toward the rear I think the bike likes the weight of the rider almost directly above the bottom bracket maybe that's why it's a like the effect of a steeper seat angle compared to my tracer but doing so made me actually less uh less rubbing and it feels a bit more natural let's go see what this downhill is hopefully i don't get lost again i don't want to climb anymore so knees bent ass is just lower than normal and uh it feels a lot more comfortable this way too my ass doesn't feel like hold on let me concentrate a little bit my ass doesn't feel like it's going to get close to the rear so i think that's why I have a lot of rub is ow is because of my I was riding it like my tracer where it has like a steeper seating or sorry I guess you could say a slacker seat angle yeah I think pretty much I gotta get used to the geometry and centering my weight in the correct spot Choose your own adventure. Let's go center. Oh, this looks fucking easier. Oh, oh shit, in the rut. Whoa. completely drenched onward and upward I want to cut my handlebars I think they're currently 800 millimeter they're so damn wide my old bars are I think 740 I think I'm going to shave off 20 mil probably out 780 millimeter I'm sure that's going to help yeah this place is really cross country not a long not a lot of long sustained downhills if you're looking for a ride to pedal and explore get lost because navigating here is extremely difficult if there's no trail signs i'd recommend being fit and being here during summer would suck being lost out here in the heat the heat of riverside hell no but yeah i think at this point i'm heading back to the trailhead which is uh, the north side the south side the southeast side probably where you would want to hang out i guess if you're wanting to do like some enduro style riding there's like a place called little moab maybe in another video i'll explore the southern southeast area of sycamore seems like the center of the sycamore is basically the canyon and if you drop into the center you're probably gonna have to climb back out on either end it isn't that bad but depending on your fitness level the weather it could be pretty brutal. Oh, that would have been a better climb. Whatever.
squirrel. Damn, I'm hungry. Should have ate before I started. Started at 11.30. It's almost 1.30 now. It's almost 2, damn it. Damn, I still got a lot of climbing. Whoa! Fuck! That was a pedal strike. Damn. Also got pedal bite at the same time. Shit. Pedal strike on the left, pedal bite on the right. It's a new rap song. Coming to a trail near you. This is second time on this trail. I'm trying to find a better way or a different way to go back to the car. So. Let's see if I hit my ass. Let my body position change. Oh, still hit my ass. But that was also a big compression. Maybe I'm gonna adjust my suspension some more. I did increase the high speed compression and also added about 8 psi to the rear shock. Definitely has more support. Make sure that's not coming from my actual frame. All right, so. All right, hopefully, this is not a climb out. Oh, shit. God damn. Should have just committed. about food all right i just checked the map and i'm really close to finishing this ride it's overall it's a pretty good ride i needed i really needed to get a pedal day in it's been almost two weeks this damn rain sucks but we definitely need the rain it's gonna be a beautiful spring it's already pretty green right now too yeah i mentioned earlier my handlebar handlebars being uh, really wide so I think that's going to be my next video so if you're interested in a DIY on chopping your handlebars like and subscribe until then light is <laughs> nice.
Um, can I get two carne asada burritos, three rolled tacos with cheese, a carne asada fries, horchata? Thank you. 